Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Shane. And uh, that clip you saw there in the top right, I believe. Uh, was me just turning on some kid and Uh, you know, it was nice. Anyway. I thought I'd do a video today, um... Uh, I told my friend Gig. If you don't know, he is in control of CG. And I was deciding I'm going to talk about CG today. And um, discuss with you guys. Let you know what's going on, what's happening, where's the content been. You know... Why haven't you seen much about it? And the simple fact is, Gig's been delaying it. You know, he is in control of the org. There's nothing I can do about that. You know, I believe he's going to do it on his channel. So, there should be a link in the description. Go and check his channel out. Be ready for that video when he does that. And um, he streams a lot. You should check him out. He's really fucking good. Um, you know, I'm going to run it down a couple of things for you. Um, you know, first off, I'm going to talk about, you know, CG. Then I'm going to talk about my team. And then what we've been doing, uh, the game we have lined up, and then what's it like to play competitive, you know, and how can you get in it, and you know what skills or whatever do you need to do it. Um, first off, I want to put out a disclaimer. Um, I know a lot of you uh, ask and wonder why most of my videos come out unedited, and it's not because I don't have the time. I would really like to edit them all, but the thing is with the competitive gameplay videos, so. GBs at one two three, uh, whatever I say the GB thing is, or whenever I put AIDS videos, which I think I have a couple saved up, maybe. Um, is the fact that I need to get them out quickly. Uh, you know, it's it's horrible as it sounds, but um, on GBs a lot of teams can um it dispute you, which other times basically they make up rubbish and say, oh you did this, you did that, and uh. Oh, I can't even shoot straight, but, you know. They're like, oh, you did this, you did that. So you have to provide evidence to show that, you know, you actually did the game legit. Um, so, I should put up every game. Um, I don't put our losses up, which I should. Uh, because also it'll help me, myself and my team, you know, see what we did wrong and did right. But anyway, on to today's topic. CG, what's been going on? Um... As I said, it's really Gek who's in charge of it. He's in charge of the org, so the competitive side, every side of it. Um, he's he gets like weekly updates on me. I make sure I, I keep him up to date. Sometimes I forget, and he should remind me, Gek, when you're watching this, you should remind me. Um, but other than that, really, it's going okay. I mean, I, I think he's delaying it. There's no point getting streamers out in the now until you know everything's set. But you know, I can dig. Um, uh, from my standpoint, everything's going great with the competitive team. Um, you know, we're being on, we're practiced. Um, we play a lot of eights. Uh, you know, it's it's really fun and good. And I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I choke streaks here. I'm dumb. Um, you know, I'm playing a lot of eights. Uh, we've, we've got a scrim lined up, which was another topic I had. I just went up topic again. Jesus. Um... We have a scrim against the American team, uh, they were talking shit, so we decided we're gonna scrim them. Um, and shit on them. <laughs> Hopefully. But, you know, it's. My team is, is really good, you know, and if you don't know who's on the team already, I'll give you a rundown, player by player, and tell you what they're good at, what they do, so on and so on. There's me. Um, I'm not really a captain, we don't really have a captain. Um. But I'm a main slayer. I'm gonna on hard points. If you've watched any eights or anything I do, I generally get the most kills on the hard point, unless I'm having a bad game. Then you have William, who's one of the best snipers I've seen play. Um, if you guys know Nagafen for the competitive seasons, he is hot with sniper, and yeah, Williams is. You know, he's a backup sub. He's got an alright sub shot, but his sniper shot is. It will blow you away. Then we have Jamie, our main slayer. He's. He's gonna get a lot of kills, he's gonna try and get spawns on hard points, you know, he's, he's gonna do everything, he's your formal. And then we have our backup AR, who's the player that can really do anything, he can play sub, AR, you know, he can snipe, S and D, you name it, he does it, it's Sinky, um, he's our player that fits in well, he just does what we can't do, uh, you know, and it's really helpful, it's really good, it's good when you have teammates like that, um, it's really... It just lets you know that, you know, they're so diverse and we're all good as a team. 
Okay, on the topic again. <laughs> Dude, I always lose topic here. But you know, we have a game lined up, uh, and I'm hoping we can kick ass in that. But for you that don't know what competitive is, it's really 4v4. You know, there's a hard point, there's a SD up point, can see TF. That's the four game modes. You put them on various maps, it's, you know, four players versus four. Very good skilled teams. Uh, you know, and the rundown of it is, it's really, really good. It feels amazing when you're playing. You just feel like you're, you're the best, if you know what I mean. Uh, and if you don't know how to get any competitive, I'm going to tell you right now. It is actually quite simple, you can just go to MLG.com. Uh, you can sign up and play for GBs there, you can play UMGs. Uh, I believe there's a CWL one. But if you truly want to get into, um, you know, competitive, uh, don't watch me, <laughs> I'm joking. But, you know, you just check out the competitive players. Uh, there's pro players, there's pro series, just type in CWL on YouTube or something like that. And you will get the pro players and watch these guys play, it is unreal. Uh, you know, that's the reason I play it is because, you know, it's a competition, it's energetic, it's amazing. It feels amazing when you play. You know, it's like probably one of the best things I've played. And it's just, you know, it's the heart rate goes up, the nerves go up. You know, if you get like in a, a game, say game five, round 11, you know, one round to decide who takes it serious. It's like, mm, you know, the nerves get there. Not many players can handle it. And that's what's the good thing about it is. Unfortunately, you do need a couple of things before you can play competitive. And it's straight up simple. You need to be good at the game. I'm not going to lie. You know, I could sugarcoat and say, ah, yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. But you actually generally do need to be quite good at the game. You don't have to be absolutely amazing. And if you're just a pub stomper, then I doubt competitive play is going to be the one for you. But if, you know, you're good at the game, you're good on the sticks, you've got nice shot. You like a team play setting, and then eight, so that's not always a thing, but, you know, competitive's the road for you. Um, me, personally, I've, I've probably played it all the time I played COD. I started in COD 4, I never played competitive on COD 4, unfortunately, but I started in COD 4, uh, and Black Ops, and then I started playing competitive on Black Ops 2, and then I played it in Ghosts, for the whole of Black Ops 2 and Ghosts I played competitive, and then I stopped. So, you know. I picked it back up. I'm a good player. But anyway, guys, this has been a long enough video. I've been talking too long. It's frustrating. This has been your boy Shane. I'll see you in another video.